Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm gonna show you how I painted this seascape. In this little video I am going to show you how I followed an Emily McKay art tutorial. So do check out her channel as well. She does beautiful paintings and I love, love, love all of the different sand seascapes and whatnot that she's creating. And she made this so simple and I like the way that she explained it as well. So I wanted to follow along to one of her tutorials and show you guys how it turned. So keep watching for my video. Do check out her channel as well. So I started off with taping down the page with painter's tape to get a clean cut for the edge of the painting. Using watercolors and covering the whole sea with, first I use a light shade of grey and then covering it up with different shades of blue as, as you see in this video. And I use acrylic paint to make the white parts on the waves. And when the sky is colourful like this, it makes a lovely reflection on the waves. So I'm adding a bit of yellow and orange to the waves. And then I added a very, very thin line of red just above the horizon. And here I'm splashing on a little bit more white on the waves to make it look more realistic and as if it's reflecting from the sun. Well, well, that was fun. Now it has dried. Here's my artist book and here's the page. It's completely dried now. Doesn't look exactly the way Emily made it, but um, I quite like it still. I used a little bit of different colors and yeah, I muted the colors a little bit with black and white to get different saturations of the different shades. And I think in hers she used acrylic. This is watercolor. But yeah, it was fun. Now, to make this really, really sink in, this technique, I'm gonna grab my second artist book and I'm gonna try it one more time. Okay, let's see if I can do this super, super fast. You see here, I'm covering it all with gray, light gray for the water, and then adding blue waves and yellow from the reflection. Then I'm adding lighter blue in between the waves. Now I'm adding more light blue and then I added some white to make the waves look realistic. Well, the thing with me is I don't have a lot of patience to follow instructions. That's why I also don't really enjoy baking, for example. But um, I gave it a go a second time and here's how this one turned out. Um, I think I had more patience when I did it the first time around. I do think that the first one turned out better. This one, what do you think? Um, I think also this one, the first one has, it, the book has thicker papers so it doesn't get as wobbly. And there's also more paintings on the back of this paper so it's very, very, you see, it's getting very wobbly. But yeah, it was fun to try out this tutorial. I am happy with the result and I do feel like I learned something from Emily. That's why I wanted to share this video with you guys as well. And I hope you check out her, her channel. She's great at explaining. Um, she, paints, she paints a lot of like seascapes and waves and stuff and she's really good at explaining how to make it very realistic. So check her out. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you subscribe and join me as well. And I hope to see you in the next video. Oh yeah, pst, I forgot to mention the Saturday live at 2 p.m. BST. Bye bye bye.